Hi, and welcome to MPS On The Move. My name is Scott Cochran, MPS Auxiliary Education Curriculum Specialist and host of the show. This is our monthly look at how students, teachers, staff, and everyone involved in MPS is working to inspire excellence. Let's talk about STEM. The second annual Great Lakes Bay Bot Bash took place recently. It was hosted by Dow High School, and it was an opportunity for the robotics teams from both Midland High School and Dow High School to compete early in the school year. Both robotics programs from each school, they did a wonderful job, had a great time, and we're looking forward to great things for them uh, as their season progresses later in the school year. More STEM. Uh, recently, our elementary schools debuted a new program uh, with engineering opportunities available for all students after school. We had Lego robotics, mechanical engineering, and aeronautical engineering available for all of our first through fifth grade students. How do you build a robot? How much weight can a hot air balloon lift? And what makes a plane fly? Our elementary students had the opportunity to explore all of these questions and find their own versions of the answers. It was a great experience for everyone involved. Congratulations to the Chestnut Hill Chipmunks. Chestnut Hill just received word that they received the 2015 Blue Ribbon Award for Excellence. The MSTEP results were recently released. Now the MSTEP is the new test being given by the MDE, the Michigan Department of Education, and this replaces the MEET test, the test that you're probably familiar with from the past. Now they told us from the beginning that this was going to be a more difficult test and that our students uh, might not achieve to the same level as they did in the past. That has come to pass. So you'll notice that the scores for our buildings and for the entire state of Michigan are lower than they were for the MEET test. What we do know, though, is that here in Midland, our scores are much higher than the state average. Uh, so we do expect to continue to be labeled as a high-performing district, and we will continue to work very hard to help make sure that our, our scores at the student level, at the building level, and at the district level continue to rise and go up. Uh, the state is telling us that we'll have individual student reports delivered soon. They're hoping by the end of December. So we'll wait, and as soon as we get those, uh, we'll get those out to all of our families. Communication, what is the PIC? The PIC is the Parent Information Committee. Uh, this committee meets on the third Wednesday of every month at the Administration Center. This is an opportunity for any Midland Public School parent to come in and meet the superintendent, to hear about what's happening in all of our schools, and to have an idea of what's coming up next here in the Midland Public Schools. If you're interested in being involved in this opportunity, then you should contact Cindy Young at the Administration Center. Her email address is Young CD, so Y O U N G C D at MidlandPS.org, and her phone number is 923 5026. So contact her if you're interested in being involved in the Parent Information Committee. Here's a bond project update. As you know, uh, you recently passed a bond issue for the Midland Public Schools, and we're very appreciative of your support for the district and for all of our students. Our first projects took place this past summer as we updated the heating and cooling systems at both middle schools, and that's made life uh, much more comfortable and uh, a much more productive environment for students and staff in those buildings. Uh, the demolition projects for our unused buildings have already begun. So if you looked out north of town, you'll see that uh, Mills Elementary has been dem demolished, and that uh, project is completed now. And up next are the demolition projects at Parkdale and at Cook Elementary. And those will be taking place in the next several months. Uh, Central Middle School at the auditorium continues to host concerts and shows. And that will be the case through the end of December. And once the December uh, season for all the concerts is over, uh, you'll notice work happening on the Central Campus as well. Let's talk a little bit about an, uh, an item of student interest. Congratulations and thank you to the Midland High School Palm Squad and their coach, teacher Katie Stearns. They provided leadership and great spirit for the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer event this past October. It was great to see our students working to make a difference in, here in the community. And finally, congratulations to everyone involved in the Fiesta Hispana. This is a wonderful annual event that brings together all of our fifth grade students and their elementary Spanish teachers from the entire district. They all come together. In this case, they came to Jefferson Middle School to celebrate Hispanic culture. The teachers work to bring in members of the community with Hispanic roots to talk about Hispanic food, uh, Hispanic arts and crafts, cultural events, and it culminated with a wonderful evening of dance, 
music and uh, other events. So it was a great time for everyone and we look forward to continuing the Fiesta Hispana next year. So thank you again to everyone involved. Thank you to all of you for the great work that you do here at the Midland Public Schools and to all of you that support our students, staff, and teachers. So have a great month and we'll see you next time on MPS On The Move.